hello there dear youtube friends in this video i'll be showing you guys on how to how i was able to fetch api from an api provider and i was able to display it in this form here in bubble uh, it is a re repeating group by the way and just gonna just gonna show you on how I, I was able to pull the content from an api and i was from api i was able to uh, connect to my uh, Google Sheets here and from Google Sheets I must be able to transfer it to my bubble app here so this is gonna be a two-part video where this is the first one so let's get started so first of all I will need to have an API provider which I can have an access to all the data that has been uh, sent like to give me the, uh, the content of the jobs so there's this website called remotegift.io where they have uh, they actually a provider it's like they provide jobs by the way i mean content of the job like this and we can actually get the uh, api in the, uh, in the uh, api provider for example i need to go to uh, this community so this is the website by the way you can actually get the uh, Okay, as you can see here, Remotive Jobs API here, and this is their website here. Okay, so this is their website for documentation of the API. So we can actually go scroll a bit down, and then you can actually copy. This is actually they are actually providing for free. It's like an open source which doesn't require any uh, uh, like like what well, uh, access uh, token or anything. It's just free to be used here. So I'm just gonna copy this. So once copied, I'm just gonna go to a uh, Google Sheets. Google Sheets. Okay. Once you have opened the folder, I'm just gonna create a new blank uh, Google Sheets here. And of course, we need to have something, a plugin that we need to be installing uh, in Google Sheets here. So in Google Sheets, you can just click on Extensions here. And since I've already have this particular uh, plugin called Sync with API imported exported JSON. So in order to get this, you can just, just go to add ons, get add ons, and you can actually search for that particular plugin in this uh, Google Workspace, works, workspace Marketplace here. So just need to search for API connector or something else. So you'll have this sync with API something. So just click on it. And since I've already installed it, you can just uh, install it from your site. Okay. Once you have installed it, you'll be able to have access to this sync with plugin in your extensions here so just go here and click on get started just wait for it to load and you will have this particular sync with extension being opened up at your right hand side here okay there you go this is some this is the way how you will have it here so since you have just copied this link here from a remotive jobs uh, documentation just copy it and we can actually paste it here the url of it Oops, sorry. Okay, we just pasted it, and since it's here, you can actually uh, click on preview the details of it. So this is the the outcome, the result, uh, the end result of the this thing here. So actually, we we only need the this format like ID URL listing, but we don't won't be needing this particular data here. So all we have to do, we don't need some for example, we don't need this, and we don't need this. This is the jobs is required, so we just need to delete one, this one and this one. So we need to delete this, and we're gonna delete this because this two of them. This the jobs is the only thing that we wanted to be displayed in our. Uh, So this is the one that we are going to use, which is jobs here, and we need to have an expand here. And this is the one that we actually wanted it from, that we wanted to, we are going to use. This is going to be arranged in ID, URL, title, and the rest of the stuff here. And let's say we don't need some of the unnecessary uh, folders like tags. Of course, we don't be needing tags here. And let's go see what else do we 
won't be needing it at all, which will be... To be honest, description is just, uh, isn't that important by the way, but you can actually, uh, it's okay, you can just keep it, but you can actually hide it while we uh, display it now, Google Sheets here. So now we can actually insert, okay. So once you have clicked on insert, what it does is that it will just transfer this content into your Google Sheets one by one, in based on their four, based on their rows and columns. So all you have to do is to just wait for the to be inserted because there are around thousand and four uh, job list of jobs that are being uh, displayed here. Okay. Now as you can see here, this is actually uh, of course we don't be needing the first row. So once you click the first row, just just delete the row. Okay. Now this is your first row. The first row has to be description here okay the first row should be your the title the title of the columns so as you can see here the this is your column there are like around you can just scroll down here but one thing that disturbing me is the description part here so I don't want to I don't want this description to be uh, to be in the like blocking my view so I'm just gonna hide it for a while hide column so when I hide it it will be there but it has been uh, you can actually manipulate open it later okay and there you go this is all your apis that we have been uh, gathered from uh, google uh, i mean remotive by the way so remotive has been actually able to uh, giving out all the content of this of their uh, database for example there are like these are the jobs that are actually we can actually gather it from here and there are around thousand 1435 so this is really a good uh, interesting way of uh, like having data from an external party and thank you guys for watching this entire video hope you have learned something new and and I have shared something useful for you guys so yeah this is the first part let me get let me catch you catch your guys with second part okay thank you guys for watching Peace.